parked near the school, uh, but it looks like the kids are away from this area. So I usually treat the parks as an extension of the school area. But I don't see anybody here right now, so I think this will be a good place to to do a little test of the Eurotech Pro. So uh, I haven't beaten this park up, so I don't know what we're going to find. I've turned the discrimination all the way up to 79, so 70 through 79 is just, this is a test and not uh, a serious hunt like I usually do. I've turned the discrimination all the way up. So the 70 through 79 should be VCO, and I think 80 and above should give me a high signal. So I should be cherry picking here, and let's see if I can find anything. I've got here. Let's see. Let's see if I've got anything here. All right, here I go. My first good coin looks to be a copper penny, about three inches down. So that's good. There's one thing about this. If you're used to not hearing that iron grunt when you turn the discrimination up or the VCO, I'm, I'm sorry, the VCO grunt, you will sometimes get distracted. But I think now I can set my mind, it's like I said, this is a test. I'll go back over here to lower discrimination later. But right now, that's uh, one thing. today has been amazingly quiet. This is the first really, second really strong coin signal I've gotten.
signal here somewhere. I get that. Came up in the 80s. So well, it could be. It could be a a quarter or just a. Uh, Yep, there it is. Just a penny. Probably a copper penny because it read so high. Indicating it could be a quarter. Oh, there we go. Got a quarter. Big money for the day. <laughs> Took me shallow. Let's see if I get anything here. Okay, I think I might have it here. I got a rusty piece of metal. Not the quarter I was looking for. It did pinpoint a little bit big, though. But I discounted it. Uh, uh. It looks like I might have another coin signal here. Been a while and a long day. Well, have I lost it? Maybe that's it. All right, there we go. Top of penny.
this is my lineup for today's hunt. Uh, I went out today with the Eurotech Pro with the concentric coil. I went out with the Fisher with the double D coil. And I went out with my uh, more or less constant companion, uh, the Compadre with its uh, 5.75 inch disc. So uh, I didn't. Uh, I went out today to the uh, to the, the the place I call the Trashy Park. Uh, it's the one that I you know you know designed my dance program for, and I've got to get my dance back out there. And uh, this is this was actually two days. One of this was on the Pounded Park, and it's right here, uh, out with the Eurotech Pro. And this was a combination of the three machines that I've, n I've mentioned today. And this was today in the, the Trashy Park, the one that I've uh, mentioned that I'm going to get my dance back out on. So I went out and uh, to uh, really put the Eurotech po Pro through its paces. Like I said, I took it out that other day, but it it's, it was a two zinc day. It wasn't really worth uh, noting. Uh, there wasn't a lot to do with it. I did notice some EMI, but that is the park with the heavy EMI. And I got the two zinc pennies, and I got what looks like to be the projectile of a very very high powered uh, pistol round, maybe a forty four. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's much bigger than a 38, and I know what a 22 size is. So uh, that was a uh, that was what happened yesterday, and uh, you know, and it was a cold day, so I wasn't out very long. I found a couple of few pieces of trash. Now I was running a discrimination that was pretty high, since I'm pretty familiar with this park, and I pretty much run everything across it. So it's uh, like I said, I'll run discrimination high from time to time on a park where I plan to uh, hit it again at a more lower, more leisurely pace. And, uh, you know, I like the little, the little projectile for the bullet. It will go in my uh, interesting but worthless, uh, worthless uh, box. Uh, be a good, uh, be a good uh, conversation starter. Yeah, it looks like it isn't deformed, so I'm probably, probably somebody had a little, a little, uh, shot in the air during New Year's or 4th of July. Any any case, uh, which is happens quite a bit in Texas, uh, dangerously so. Uh, in any case, uh, that was that was yesterday. Today, yeah, it was this. And this was my result with the Eurotech Pro. The Eurotech Pro gave me issues. Uh, not that, not so much in function and it's somewhat in style because, uh, you know, when you turn a discrimination up on a Eurotech Pro, you do not just get a signal when something you desire to dig is shown. You cannot remove the VCO. So no matter how, tur how you, you turn discrimination, you're still going to get VCO between 70 and 79. And then above that, you'll get a high signal. And this park is trashy enough for that to throw me off a little bit. So I would get a signal, then then boom, I'd hit the VCO. Hit a signal, hit the VCO. So that's basically, I've got to develop an ability to segregate those signals in my mind. Let me move this out of the way. Segregate those, those signals in my mind and dig. So when I did dig, I found the one penny. And what else was driving me crazy about the Eurotech? It was not, it was a depth indication. I was getting three inch depth and something that I could pop out with a screwdriver. So that kind of bothered me a bit. So I'm gonna work on this. I don't think it's actually a fault, but it's something I would need to work on. But I did remember taking, dropping, say one of these pennies and then putting my concentric coil right on top of it. And it was still reading two inches, even though the penny was in the circumference of the inner circle of the concentric coil. I, you know, well, I mean, let me get it. it. Was in the circle of the inner circumference of the, of the concentric coil, so uh, that bothered me a little bit. So that's something I've got to analyze. Uh, the 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 lion share, the the more the more destroyed quarter, the standard quarter, and one of the copper pennies, they all came from using the gold bug. I started using it after a while uh, when the the, the uh, Due to some uh, 
vehicular issues. The hunt would last a little longer than I planned, so I just switched, switched over to the gold bug and did a little, did a little, did a little, a little, a little picking of uh, of high signals and got a quarter and a copper penny. Uh, the final copper penny, I'm, I'm just doing by number. I'm not sure if it's the exact penny, but it's one of these three. It was uh, was the one I found with the uh, compadre. So. Uh, uh, analyzing this, uh, you know, I went out for the test, and I did get some results from the test, you know, and I, and over here I, I got the results that, uh, you know, these, these zinc pennies were very easy to, uh, very easy to pinpoint. So the Eurotech Pro was working fine there. Uh, the Eurotech Pro was giving me issues in the other park, but I think it was basically I had to begin to desegregate those signals in my mind. Uh, I don't deal with a lot of of, of high signals that have a, a separation that seems a little bit ar arbitrary. 70 to 79 is VCO and then 80 beyond is high. I know that's not arbitrary but it sort of threw me off a little bit. Anyway, uh, that, that was the results there. And like I said, the only real thing I ran into with the Eurotech was the depth indication was driving me a little nuts. I actually noticed that in a little test I did before I left. I was showing four inches in a in a coin I thought was showing was about two inches, so I'm going to have to do some more analysis on that. But the technetics, you know, it was working, and it was picking, you know, the the those particular signals, those high signals outside of those that were set for for the uh, for the uh, for VCO or for uh, a low signal. So it was doing what it was supposed to. So I'm still a believer in this uh, in this uh, budget-minded detector. Now the Forrester Fisher Gold Bug, it was rock solid, so you know, I, there's no no need in commenting on that anymore. And then the compadre, you know, the compadre, it's just, it's just basically instant soup. You just dial and go. So uh, that was my results for the day. I'm going to come back and do some more work with the Technetics Eurotech Pro. I want to take it out to another park nearby, one that I know is extremely trashy, but I am going to have to use the Gold Bug. Um, very small, I think it's uh, about four inches. Four inch circumference disc, which is standard in the when you buy the Gold Bug, and not the Gold Bug DP. The Gold Bug DP would have the large, the large uh, double D coil by default. I bought this one after aftermarket after purchasing the detector. So uh, that's about all I've got for the day. So uh, I will uh, I will be doing more work with the Eurotech. I'll be uh, examining the depth stuff and everything else. And of course, you know, I'll still be doing hunting with my old favorites, you know, the Compadre, the Goldbug, and of course, uh, I'll be digging the Sovereign GT. It it's not, it hasn't been put into mothballs. Uh, so I will see you later. And like I say, I like the, I like the cartridge. It goes into my interesting pile, you know, my conversation starters. Anyway, I will talk to you later. And this is Texas Tiger Digs, and I will see you at the next hunt.